Here we have for sale our 2019 on a 19 plate Mercedes-Benz Vito. This is the 119 Sports with the 2.1 litre diesel Euro 6 engine producing 190 brake horsepower accompanied in this van with the automatic gearbox. This is the L2 or what Mercedes call the long, so not the shortest one they do, not the longest one that they do. And this is the Sport Crew van. So what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around. I'll show you the spec that you get on a Vito Sport of this age. We'll also talk you through the condition of this particular example in detail, seeing as it is currently available for sale and talk a little bit about the previous ownership and service history as well while we're doing that. So starting here then at the rear of the vehicle, we can see that this one is spec with a rear glazed tailgate. So glazed meaning it has got a window and tailgate of course is one door which comes up like so. You can see there is some extra body styling on this van and starting with the rear spoiler there on the back of the vehicle. Let's have a quick look at the condition then at uh, you know of the rear tailgate here just looking in the reflections looking for any dings dents or scratches and I must say it's looking very very clean and tidy these Vitos do look absolutely fantastic in black I think with the black alloys and everything else absolutely stunning I can see there's a tiny little pin dent just here above the 119 we will have our paintless dent removal specialist have a look at that to try and improve that uh, by all means and we can also see here We've got rear parking sensors there nicely integrated into the rear bumper and we've got the nice carbon fibre effect uh, rear bumper protector there on top of that as well. If we open up the tailgate we can start to have a look inside the rear of the vehicle. So we can see here this one has got the comfort trim on the side so it's like a carpeted trim on the sides and then the plastic panels uh, then on top of that there are some light scratches to the plastic here in the back this is very very common we see this uh, a lot on uh, vetoes um, but as I say all in all looking really really clean and tidy here in the back we've got the nice uh, hard wearing plastic floor which of course is very good because you can uh, of course slide things in on that but you can also clean that very easily if you want to these are uh, for luggage basically so you can get little attachments in there little hooks which clip into those uh, and that allows you to hook things down uh, onto the floor if you want to and you can see the back then of those rear seats and you can see there we've got the uh, fixings on the floor uh, and that tells us that these are quick release seats you can completely remove these if you want to I'll talk to you a bit more about those when we get around to that side looking inside the tailgate then again plastic trim inside there again looking in really nice condition inside there but a really good usable load space on the L2 which this one is I say the compact the L1 a little bit shorter in the back of course uh, but as I say L2 just gives you that bit of extra room in there this one has also got a reversing camera it doesn't look like it's got a reversing camera but it actually pops down from this little flap there when you put the vehicle into reverse looking then down the passenger side here and again just looking in those reflections it looks very very clean and tidy it must be said this one has got a fantastic set of 18 inch black alloy wheels and this one has just had a full set of brand new tires as well during our preparation this vehicle has been through the workshop it's had a full service uh, during that time uh, so that also included four brand new tires looking then inside and then again uh, not only has this got body styling, but it's not standard inside as well. So this one has got a fantastic leather interior with this lovely double diamond stitch in the centre inlays. On the rear seats then, you've got uh, armrests which are on a ratchet, so you can set those to your desired height. You can see that you have got ISOFIX compatibility on the double bench seat, and as I say, it is split into a two and a one. So you can just remove the single seat if you wanted to load something longer down that side but looking really really nice in there now a few features with these rear seats using this handle just here the first thing that you can do is you can recline the seats so you can get in a really nice comfortable seat in position there as a uh, as a passenger if you pull on the seat on the handle again you can actually then if i can try and quite difficult to do with one hand but i will try my best you can actually then fold the seat completely down flat and you can do exactly the same with the other seats as well once you're in this position there's a little handle on the back and that allows you then to flip the seats forward and this is as 
uh, this is the position they need to be in then to remove the seats completely. So lots and lots of versatility on these rear seats. As I say they can go from, uh, you know, you can go from a, a five-seater comfortable family vehicle to a two-seater van in a very quick amount of time. And as I say, you can do that in real comfort in the back of there as well. Plenty of, uh, as I say, adjustability with those reclining seats and the armrests. Moving then into the front of the vehicle, passenger door card looking absolutely fantastic. Another bit of spec, which we can see here, heated seats. I don't believe these come as standard with heated seats, so it's lovely to see that. Looking in here, fantastic condition of the step. We've got the sport uh, over mats here in the front and the same leather interior in the front of the vehicle then fantastic condition uh, say nice comfy headrest which i can see are adjustable uh, there and of course you've got the armrests in the front as well I'll talk to you a bit more about the spec when we go around to the driver's side but lovely condition inside the cab moving then around to the front of the vehicle you've got the nice chrome sidebars as well but hopefully the camera is conveying just how clean and tidy this is and we've also got the black roof bars there as well Having a look at the front then, you can see that this one has also had a nice uh, lower lip spoiler added to it. And I think when you accompany that with the 18-inch alloys, the bars, uh, side bars and roof bars, I think that does look a really, really smart looking vehicle. The Sport always comes with these chrome strips on the grille and you've also got front fog lights on this particular example as well, along with front parking sensors as well. In terms of condition then at the front of the vehicle, having a look here, at the bonnet is a couple of minor little stone chips but not much else to uh, fault it on other than that and then looking down low down here again just having a look at the lower spoiler may, maybe a couple of small chips just there but say nothing severe no big dents or gouges or anything like that looking then finally down the driver's side of the vehicle again looking incredibly straight and clean i can just see a tiny little pin dent just in this area there so if you can see that in the reflection you can just see that in the transit there if you're looking in the reflection for a tiny little pin dent again we will have our uh, paintless dent removal specialist have a look at that as well opening up uh, the driver side side loaded also twin side loading doors on this really nice bonus in these types of vehicles to have twin side loading doors that of course allows loading into the back for passengers far uh, easier than just the single side loading door looking then at what spec you get as a driver here opening the driver's door lovely condition again of the driver's door card the step all in fantastic order and again the sport over map this particular one the emblem on the sport has become a little bit delaminated but of course doesn't take away from the function of the mat looking at the driver's seat no excessive wear anything like that which is very very nice to see you can see that you've got plenty of adjustability here so height adjustability there again you've got the nice driver's armrest again which is of course adjustable as well but looking really really clean and tidy inside here you've got lovely leather multifunction steering wheel there are paddles just behind here so you can see the little plus panel there if the camera will focus and little minus on the other side you've got your onboard computer controls here on the left hand side on the right hand side this is where you can control the volume and the phone controls as well 27,293 miles if I move the steering wheel over to the left hand side you've got your cruise control down there and then over to the right hand side this is how you select the uh, gears just there now if I before I jump in actually we've got auto activated lights as well Moving then inside, having a look at some of the spec that you get on here. So again, not standard. This one has got uh, satellite navigation, which is a really nice uh, feature to have. And of course, you can connect your phone to this uh, via Bluetooth as well. Looking a bit further down here, you've got your different drive modes here. So you've got uh, comfort mode and things like that. And you've also got air conditioning as well which comes as standard on the sports so lovely to see that but absolutely fantastic condition inside here inside the cab uh, again looking here into the rear seats very very nice as well just one of the feature i'd like to show you uh, this little bar just up on top of here if i put the vehicle into uh, it may beep at me now because we've got one of the doors open but if i put the vehicle into drive and we just drive over here towards the side of this van, not going to crash this van, I can assure you. Um, but as we get it closer there, you can see you get extra lights light up on that display. So as you get closer, it, uh, I say, it lights up there 
until you get nice and close and then it beeps red. You have got the same uh, actually in the rear of the van. So as you're reversing, uh, you have actually got the same display just above the tailgate. And when I put the vehicle into reverse, you can see then that we have got the uh, rear camera display then. I say that actually is discreet. It pops uh, into place when you engage uh, reverse. But just to summarize this vehicle then, 2000 and 19 on a 19 plate mercedes-benz vito this is the 119 sport crew van it's the l2 so basically a medium wheelbase or what mercedes actually call a long uh, fantastic spec of course including the fantastic leather interior satellite navigation heated seats reversing camera this one has got a lovely body styling kit on it as well with a front splitter the rear spoiler alloy wheels sidebars roof bars uh, fantastic condition throughout. This is one owner from new. There's no VAT to pay on this particular example, so a very rare opportunity for anyone who, watching this who's not VAT registered. We have got previous service history, and as I say, on top of that, we have put the vehicle right through our workshop for a uh, full service, including a full set of new tyres as well. So you really shouldn't have to spend any money on this for some time to come, which of course is great for peace of mind. And you've got uh, obviously our own warranty as well, which will cover you. If you'd like to see the full advert, if you haven't seen it already, please head over to our website, bridgeendvans.co.uk. This is where, as I say, you will find that full advert. That will include the photography, the description, and the price of the vehicle, which, as I say, there is no VAT to be added to. We will welcome inquiries on either of the numbers listed here at the bottom of the sign. Now, anyone that knows us, you'll know that we are certainly not pushy when it comes to selling our vehicles. But one thing I would say is the last one of these that we had uh, was back in the summer, some months ago and uh, it was not with us for very long at all. Lots and lots of demand uh, for uh, that particular vehicle. Uh, and as I say, this is very, very similar. And I think with the mileage and the spec, uh, and of course, no VAT, I would imagine this one would go the same way. So if, as I say, if you are interested, I would encourage you to uh, get in contact if you are interested in uh, purchasing this vehicle. We can take cars or vans in part exchange. We can deliver our vehicles nationwide and of course we can offer finance at very competitive rates as well if you'd like to spread the cost of this purchase. Thank you very much for watching.